Hey guys, welcome back to the Smith's Euro YouTube channel. We're back in the garage today. I have the Mark 1 in here and I have the Mark 2 in here. The Mark 2 VR6 car, you should have saw either an update video or the actual video where I made it. I made a plug and play micro squirt ECU harness. This is micro squirt, it's a standalone ECU. This allows you to run whatever you want on that car. It's kind of primitive, but it's cheap and it works very well. When you buy this, it's like 350 or 400 bucks maybe now, but um, all you get is this harness and a serial connector cable. You have to have a map sensor, an external map sensor on this. There's not an internal one. You have to also tune it yourself, obviously. You can get Tuner Studio Lite or you can uh, pay, I think it's 60 bucks and you get a lifetime subscription, subscription to it. So anyway, to get to that point, uh, I made this plug and play harness. This will plug into the factory ECU plug. But now we're gonna actually install it in the car. But before we get there, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. So you'll see I have this kind of little dangler out here. These are my three wires that I'm keeping. This pink wire is the O2 wire. Um, you also need an O2 controller, a wideband. You can technically use the OEM uh, oxygen sensor but it's, um, you have to do it all in Lambda. It's kind of hard for most people. If you're gonna have a wideband in the car, a gauge, that's a wideband controller, so you might as well just go right to that. So that's what this wire is gonna be. And uh, you can see I always heat shrink it up here, and that way it's a disconnect point because this is the other side of that wire. And you see I have a mile of it here to go inside the car to connect properly. Then I have this other wire that's out is my flex fuel wire. Eventually we'll get to that, but today uh, it's just left blank. And then this is one of my spare wires. I think this is spare ADC one, and that's gonna be used for launch control. So I have my little Deutsch connector that goes inside the car. I have a button on my steering wheel. That's what I use my launch control for, but you could send it to a clutch switch. You could send it to your e-brake switch there's many options. This is a ground side wire, meaning how you activate this is putting it to ground. So that's what I'll be doing. And you can see I have a mile of this wire as well. We have to run that inside the car. You need a data cable, a USB to serial cable. That's this one right here. I got a 10 foot one because this is gonna go inside the car. That way it's nice and easy. I actually melted my cable when I was tuning it the other day. I left it in the engine bay and on the engine and it melted it. So this is the replacement cable part number. It's an Innovate LC1 controller number. You can see it has this little weird 1.5 millimeter cable that goes to here. You run that out. Lastly, I have, uh, I have a barb adapter and some high temp silicone hose. This is gonna go from my intake manifold out to the map sensor so that's what i'm using this for so everything here we'll be able to install this in the car and then after we install it the best way possible then we'll um set up the base map and that's about as far as i'll get you guys obviously you should have a tuner on standby to tune it or you should be able to tune it yourself i'm gonna try my best to tune it myself i'll have the tune good enough to where you guys will be able to start the car yeah, maybe I'll link the tune down in the description. Uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get to it. The first thing you saw me do was get everything out of here. Got the two covers off hanging out over there. Put, pulled the stock ECU out and uh, just vacuumed everything up in the cowl. Much nicer work if everything's nice and clean. You gotta keep in mind, the micro squirt is technically uh, waterproof, but you still kinda wanna have it up. You can probably zip tie it somewhere, it's not a big deal. Anyway, so I have this out, and what you wanna find is somewhere you can run your wires through. So the best thing to do would be to be up here and run it through one of these grommets up here, but to do that, you gotta kind of take a lot of the dash stuff apart. And I don't really feel like doing that. So I'm taking the easier route and I'm gonna put 
the wires through the cowl right here. I have a little grommet right here. So it's gonna come through that grommet and then down where I have the clutch pedal um, master, I'm gonna run the wires through the grommet over here and then uh, we'll do it in the car. I've left it plenty along, that way all the wires can go somewhere. So we'll uh, put this through and then once this is all inside the car, then we'll just leave it and then we'll finish mount the ECU and then um, go inside and do these. And now, like, everything's loose in the grommet so we can adjust the length of the rest of this in the car. So I'll put this in the car and then Jamie will have to go in and pull it. So you can see grommet right here, and then there's a grommet right there. So there's the wire going down and in. Can't even really notice it up here. So uh, I think that was the best route to go. Take the stock ECU out. That way chip tune's finally gone. Take the ECU, it only goes in one way, just like the stock one, or the adapter harness. Plug her right in. And these things are pretty tight like you can see how like i'm pulling out a decent bit yes it's, it's not moving at all so they're in there pretty snug but if you want you can run a zip tie around it there's a little gasket in here that keeps water out so there won't be any issue like that and all these little exposed pins these are pins that go to nothing and everything's epoxied and my little adapter harness, so there shouldn't be any sort of an issue. A little data cable plugged in. I'm just gonna throw electrical tape around it just to keep water off of it from corroding it. Okay. The best way to run the map sensor is you take uh, the port right off of the side of the manifold. You can use a silicone hose because it kind of stretches over anything. And it comes back here, and then I put a barb through this grommet that way um, I don't have to risk the hose like collapsing from the grommet. So it's got a solid stainless barb in there. And then it comes out and then the map sensor is just hanging out back here, coming off the side of the plug and play adapter harness. So now we only have to connect the three wires, the USB launch control and the wide band. So we'll do that now and then put the covers back on and then everything inside here in the engine bay is done. I already have the oxygen sensor wire to the wideband controller connected here and now I'm about to connect this one. Since there's only two wires, you can just use the spades and just make sure that, so you can never mix them up, you do this one as female and the O2 as female. That way you can't ever plug them in uh, together and, and short something out. Everything's tucked away, everything's connected. So now I just gotta put the coppers on and then we can go inside the car and finish the wire. Everything's tucked away. Nice. Uh, the only thing you can see that's not OEM is the little silicone hose that goes back under the cowl. But other than that, it's totally hidden. We're in the car. I got my worker helping me and uh got all the wires ran so uh, i ran the blue wire as the launch control so that's coming down into this deutsch Dietz connector comes up to my uh, motion race works button up here and then the other side of it comes out and it goes to a ground wire in this harness and then on these um aem wide bands the white wire is the o2 wire so that's why i ran a white wire in but at the micro squirt it's a pink wire there's a little hole right here on the mark twos and that's where I ran the USB. So I ran this up and over. So we'll always have the room to uh, tune over there, over here. And then I can always tuck it away if I have to. So I'm going to clean up here and then I'll go get the laptop. We'll open up Tuner Studio and I'll show you how to build this base map. And then we'll fire it up.